There's been some interest in the bullet trap that I used to test the project that I'm working on. It's simply a piece of 4 inch ABS pipe, plumbing pipe, a test cap that I've inserted, some mild steel, 12 gauge I think, left over from the project, just to act as a final backstop in case a bullet does make it all the way through the, the medium that I'm using. So that goes on the back end. Some threaded rods, in this case, just to adjust it on my test bench for the height of the clamp that I had built to do the first test firing. Upend it and start filling it. For the first test firing of the pistol I'm building, I wanted to recover the bullets undamaged, so I decided to use shredded paper. I like to use bills that I had no intention of paying. And then just pack it down real tight with a tamper and repeat until it's full. After I was satisfied with the amount of paper I needed, I just put a rubber cap at the end to keep the shredded paper from falling back out at me. You can see this has been well used through the center. I did try a couple of side shots to see if I could bounce it off the side of the tube or the pipe and all I see is minor scuff marks inside where it ricocheted off and uh, went into the paper. Recovery of the fired bullets is relatively easy, if not a bit messy. Just start dragging the, uh, the shredded paper out. And you can actually hear them hit the tray or whatever you're using. There's two right there. I found the first ones about nine inches down the pack tube. And then it varied after that, so I suspect that the paper becomes more fluffy as you fire bullets into it, so repacking is probably a good idea every couple of shots. And here's the results of the bullets that I've recovered so far, and they are all undamaged. They're just uh, in pristine condition.